Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, I'll be showing you what we are going to be building. Right here, you would see this is a checkout form for an e-commerce website. So I didn't bother going to do where we'd have to click select product, select product and checkouts because that's not what this course is about. We just want to see how we can accept payments from the checkout form. Right, on the centralized um, web app, which is your Amazon, your eBay, you see the payments method would be debit card, credit card, or they have other payment method. But yeah, what we want to do is we want to accept payment methods such as um, graph token, ERS20 token, graph token, compound token, finance token. But for the purpose of this course, I will only be um, integrating for the finance token. I will leave you to try out the compound token and graph token. I would like to have your feedback. It's the same, same way, same thing. So um, as you can see, it says connect wallet here. Right, and that's because we don't have our wallet MetaMax already connected. So you I click. Also, you will notice the amount you want to charge is twenty dollar, but it converted it to the equivalent of zero point five BNB. I actually had quoted this. But BNB should be around um, to two eighty by now, as I'm this time I'm recording. But for a real life app, all you would want to do is, you know, make a call to Coin Market Cap to check the current price of. Or BNB, and you have a time, a timer like uh, for about 15 seconds that is counting because of price fluctuation. If the user doesn't check out in that 15 seconds, you have to reload the page to change the amount of BNB the customer is going to pay. Right? So if I click on Connect Wallet, you'll see it pops up MetaMax asking. I only have one address here, so I'm only connecting this one address. If I had to, I could check all the two, but then I'm only giving access to this one. Click on next. Click on connect. Connecting, and it's connected. So it is supposed to be loaded page, but I'll just terminal it myself. So MetaMask connected. While while writing the code or while in the next lecture, I would add a window to reload to do that. So you see MetaMask connected, well it's connected now, so I can make payments using a um, Binance token. So you'd see right here. I don't have any Binance token, right? But then in the next lecture, I'm going to be having Binance token that we are going to be deploying ourselves. So as you can see, it says connected. I can decide to click on here and say disconnect automatically. Say connect wallet has disconnected. Didn't even have to reload the page. So um, that is what we'll be using. See you in the next lecture.